Animal diety is one of the challenges that really farmers are facing these days. But did you know that there is a lot of information out there that you can come across talking about various pastures, various seeds, and you end up really not getting a very important information that will help you to solve that problem? Worry not. In today's video, we are going to discuss on how you can feed your animals and they really give you something that is good or you reach you hit your target of maybe it might be fattening or diary yes today we are going to tackle that we also have these seeds so please if you need seeds that are going to germinate very fast and uh, uh, that have more than 90 percent of the germination ability these are the seeds that you have to take kimdi seeds Guys, let us go to the board and I tell you different categories of pastures and the nutritional content that you might find from them. Uh, before I forget, uh, guys, I would like to inform you that uh, if you need these seeds, we can give you them or we can, uh, you can purchase them via our website or as well you can contact us on our number that is down there. Please, we can, give, we can ship these uh, seeds of yours to anywhere that you need them to be uh, shipped to. So guys, no worry about that. So, uh, let us uh, start with this. You know, um, the nutrients in these pasture seeds varies. And for those people who are doing free range, when an animal is led to go outside uh, or in the field to start uh, feeding, they pick on different uh, on the variety of pastures and those pastures have different nutritional content but for the zero grazing it is just uh, the farmer it is you the farmer that you decide on what this animal is going to be feeding on so it is very crucial to mind on the diet of that animal because if you do that you will see your animal looking healthier and uh, really it will give you the results that you're looking out uh, from it so these are the nutrients that we are going to talk about uh, first of all we are going to talk about the protein it might be crude protein you understand we are going to talk about the fiber content is also needed by these animals uh, to have um, to have power we need uh, the energy or what we can call uh, carbohydrates, sugars, those animals need them. We also need other minerals like phosphorus, vitamins, and other minerals that you might also find in different supplements. We also need amino acids. Eh? And another content that has been not been included here is water. So it is also very essential that water has to be given to these animals 24-7. So now, I'm, I'm making this table, it does not mean that alfalfa doesn't have a bit of fiber, no. I'm, put, I'm categorizing these seeds based on their high content uh, when we come to different nutritional value, you understand? So that is why you, might, you have seen centrosema in protein, not in fiber. Yet it also has some content, the, the, the nutritional value of some fibers. But here we are looking at something. I want you to see that uh, if you're looking for proteins, these pastures will give you high content of it. If you're looking for fiber, these are the categories of, um, categories of pastures that are going to give you those. So now, if... You, you, you are going to plant these pastures, you have to be strategic. If you need regumes, regumes, they are going to help us to give us protein. That is alfalfa, centrosema, lab lab, caliandra, mukuna, or what we call velvet beans. 
velvet beans we have desmodium they there is the green leaf and the other uh, variety so you can plant these categories you can plant any you can decide to do maybe alfalfa if you're planting in the field of Crodis Guyana you can decide to intercrop with central sema such that we also get the nutritional um, we get the nitrogen fix fixation in that soil so you can intercrop it with central sema it will work properly or you can do velvet beans they can also work properly then if you have a boundary eh, on your boundary on your land you can put coriandra because these coriandra grow like a, a, like a tree in a tree form then you might also decide to have a garden of lab lab so if you can plant all of them it, it, it does not have any issue but if you're just starting and you want something that is going to give you a higher a higher nutritional content of, of, of protein then you can go with alfalfa uh, and we can also look at the lab lab also coriandra you can go with those three or two depending then if we come to fiber fiber we have chloris guyana chloris guyana it will help you to make hay as we shall be showing you uh, our hay we also sell those bells so guys you can also come and support us we have very quality the, 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 we have the quality that you may give your animal and uh, really your animal <coughs> give you best results so this uh, chloris guyana is also good in fiber content we also have the napier grass and as well as the brocaria uh, brocaria varieties we have brocaria morato too we have brocario camelo then we have brocario caiman we have brocario sabia and all of those uh, brocaria things and the, the the good thing with brocaria you can even leave your animals to graze in those gardens. For them, they are not so damaged uh, like uh, like Chloris Guyana when you leave your, an, your animals to graze in. Then, if we focus, uh, we come to carbohydrates, the sugars. An animal needs that sugars in its body. Uh, it will help it to be uh, really uh, having a good healthy body. So, you might consider corn or what we call maize eh? it, you can do silage out of it you can as well do uh, sugar graze sugar graze that is the sorghum eh? so these can give you silage Chloris Guyana can give you hay you can as well make silage from uh, napier eh? this one can act as a forage eh? forage on napier you can do it as a fodder eh? you harvest wilt and uh, you give you to uh, your animals then the, the the brocaria it can act as a forage forage you can leave them to go and they your animals and feed in those fields then when we come to mineral min, other minerals and uh, vitamins we have you can supplement your animals with mineral blocks it is also very essential and very nice if you give your animals mineral blocks you can as well give them pellets the kids you can give them pellets or even these mothers you can give them pellets because they have a uh, good nutritional contents in them other supplements you can look at the dairy meal those people who are doing dairy animals uh, you have to be giving your animal dairy meal every day so guys if you need such information I'm going to leave a link, eh? that link, you're going to come and I'm going to give out this, bo this booklet free of charge to you so that you can find what you, you can find all the details because here it, it is something basic but you, you will get notes on alfalfa, you will get notes on centrosema and where to start from. So guys, uh, I'm very happy that if that challenge that you have been having of a balanced diet we can solve it if at all you move in the same direction 
like the one I'm really showing you. So guys, if you're, you have been watching till this stage and you just knew, mind to tap the subscribe button and the notification bell such that you never miss out this information because every day we sit down and scratch our heads so that we can give you the, the information that you need as a farmer because we need many people to come on board and they join us. I know if you people come here, all of you come and join us, we can increase our production. If in Nigeria, for example, they have 80 million of goats, eh? just know that if m many of other farmers come into uh, that business, that means that 80 million is going to increase like to 100 million very fast. So that is why we always share this information and uh, we make sure that if you have somewhere to note, you can note some of these things. I know they will help you in future. Even if you haven't bought any animal, you can always be compiling your work so that if you come into the system when you really have your notes where to refer to if any challenge hits you uh, along the way. Thank you, Gabe, guys. Thank you for always watching us. We love you. Let us catch up in our next video.